Guys, we did something we never thought we would do. And sometimes when opportunity presents itself, you have to jump on it. So let's get right into this. Mm -hmm. We did a video about two years ago, probably. MJ had went out on a test drive and we had contemplated for about two years, but things just, it wasn't right. The timing, the cost, it just didn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So what exactly are we talking about, guys? So if you followed us on Instagram or, do we put it on Facebook? Yes. Maybe on Facebook. A lot of you did, don't. Yeah. MJ recently bought a new vehicle. And we just kind of want to give a quick breakdown because we had some comments, a little bit of confusion on things, and we kind of wanted to clarify what really went on. And, we, and, and a lot of interest, too, in asking how this is going to work in with our RVing and that kind of thing. So, yeah, we're going to share it all with you today. Stay tuned, guys, because at the end, we're going to share with you what incentives are actually available for this right now and how much we actually paid. We are not sponsored by Tesla. Tesla does not uh, no. sponsor anybody. No, um, but we're going to break it all down for you. So if you're wondering what we did, I got a 2023 Tesla Model 3. And let's talk about why it's different today than it was two years ago. So a couple of things. Two years ago, we we're right in the mix of COVID. These things were not only $10,000 more than what they are now, as far as cost for new ones, they were back ordered. People were waiting three months, six months. People were buying them and then selling them more from what they right. paid. Very foolish for people that bought those, but that was kind of, people were doing the same thing with RVs, right? Supply yeah, right. and demand. We test drove one. I first test drove one because I've always been interested in Tesla. It was so much fun. I was giggling the whole time. I told MJ, I'm like, you have to drive one of these just for fun. Ready? No. I'm scared. I'm scared. Just do it for. Oh. Holy! <laughs> if you YouTube videos, go to YouTube and search for videos on Tesla test drives. It's hilarious because you step on that gas, gas pedal, right? And and you just take, it's like a roller coaster almost. And this is like the base model. Right. This isn't even as quick as the, uh, as the higher models. Yes. Yeah. So we went, we test drove it. It was expensive. They were back ordered. Yeah. It just didn't make sense. Yeah. And this was going to be a car really for MJ. She drives a lot for commuting. So we weren't spending $55,000 on a car when she had a car that was perfectly right functional. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about what I had before this and you've probably seen it in a lot of videos. I had a 2017 Ford Escape. It was a great car except for the first month. I almost had to turn it, it in as lemon a lemon. Lug. Yeah and then after that first month it was like the whole electrical issue and then it was good for six years. Recently my work situation changed a little. As you know I'm a dog trainer. I'm training a lot more and I'm out on the road a lot. Her car was 2017. It was paid off. We had almost 90,000 yeah. miles. What she didn't mention, we had the 1.5 liter EcoBoost. Notorious, that is a notorious <laughs> engine for problems. We've had friends that have fours. They're like, dude, you should probably <laughs> like look into- before. Unload. Yeah, unload that thing. So we, it was kind of the back of our head, but we don't park out in the street, always on the maintenance. You know, it was always up kept really well. And even to the time we sold it, it was still functioning really well. So just very quickly, I'm going to tell you what I actually really love about this. There's a lot. I, I don't think I'm ever going to not have an electric vehicle again. That's at least where I'm standing right now after a couple weeks of having this. So the first thing that we were concerned about is space. So I am a dog trainer and I sometimes have a lot of supplies and things I have to take. This is smaller than my old car, but it actually has more space. So cool thing about this Tesla, I'm going to open it here. The, the frunk is your front trunk. And here's, I have a lot of uh, like supplies, gloves for dogs that want to bite me. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, some charging things. This fits a lot of stuff. And again, on a regular car, you're not gonna have this because you have- Oh, fingerprints. Yeah, you'll fix it. <laughs> Another good thing is in the back, here's the trunk, which is way bigger than my trunk was. So more supplies, it goes all the way back. The seats can go down if necessary. This actually lifts up also. So you have more space. That's not even utilized. That is cool. I never had a car that like closed itself like that. So this this is really exciting for me. I've always been very basic with my cars. Which but... goes into the interior because the interior is very basic. Right. Very basic. Very simple, but very cool. Inside, there's a lot of space. This is actually one of my favorite things. You see, there is this is simple. There is nothing fancy in the inside of Tesla's. Everything is right here. Everything's at the touch of a button. It's auto wipers, auto lights, auto everything. And again, more space. So like in here, you go deep down. Izzy actually added this for me, a little drawer there. So you have all of that space. 
Then you have more space here, which goes down. Oh, your wallet, don't yeah, forget. Wallet, That's forget there. That. <laughs> you can charge your phone here, which is great. And everything is, like I said, everything's at the touch of a button. I learned it within a day. It was very, very easy. What's great too is the security. So there are cameras all over this car. And I was always worried like, oh, somebody's gonna break into the Tesla. You, you, you pretty much can't, I'm sure somebody can. You can break the window, you're not stealing you, it. Right, so the, the key, there's no actual key. It's either your phone or you get a card. Looks like a credit card. So you can use either one of those. And I do feel safe. It's also one of the best vehicles in crash tests as well. And what I love is that I don't have to carry keys. I've been carrying keys for 50, well not 50 years, 33 years since I started driving. It just makes it way easier. The model that we chose was the Model 3 rear wheel drive. This is the entry level. But here's the thing with the Teslas, the difference between the, the Model 3 rear wheel and then the performance is really the amount of motors they have on them and the wheels. Almost everything is identical inside. So this is identical mm -hmm. to the to $53,000 one as far as the seats, the screen, all of that. The difference is when you push down the accelerator, yeah. you feel a yeah. big difference. Range on this, 273 miles. Which what, for me is absolutely enough. Which the the battery chemistry in the Model 3 rear wheel drive, you can charge to 100%. Mm -hmm. They want you to charge to 100%. So you get a full 273 right. miles. Right. If you get the, the performance, you can only, you can charge to 100. It's recommended normally 85%. So in reality, you're not getting much more. Right. And, and, and it's a lot cheaper. And the harder you put that, push down the accelerator, you start draining batteries more. Now, this is entry level, but by no means, this is zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. It's fast, it's, it's very fast for what it is. It is, and for those of you, when Izzy was talking about rear wheel drive, a lot of you may be thinking, well, you live in New Jersey, we do live up this crazy curvy hill. How are you going to handle this in the winter? If it's really bad, I gotta tell you, the last couple winters we've had, we really haven't had much snow. But if that's the case, I can always take Izzy's truck for a day if the snow is bad. Um, that's So that's not a concern. And either. I did do a, a lot of research on the rear wheel drive and people that live out in Michigan, Chicago, here's the difference. So on a regular car, you have the engine up front, a lot of weight up front. My Mustang is terrible, like terrible in the snow. This, the weight is evenly distributed because you're on a, it's a big battery. From my understanding, and we'll know when it snows, this handles really well in the snow. We don't know that yet, but at worst case scenario, MJ could take the four right. by four. So a lot of you may be thinking, are you gonna tow this, which we will get to shortly. So what are some of the key features about this car that are different than, than most cars? Because we were new to this. This is our first mm -hmm. Tesla and it's kind of an adjustment. The first one is one pedal driving, right? You don't have to use the brakes. I mean, unless you have to stop emergency short. right which in turn there's another really appealing thing there's no maintenance like there is zero maintenance you're not changing oil well there is maintenance you have to rotate the tires every right, six thousand right. miles i could do that here and you have to put washer fluid that's pretty that's much it, it. <laughs> since it is a computer on wheels there's constant software upgrades mm -hmm. and they come right over the air this has a 4g modem on it and it hooks up to our wi-fi when we get home but they do up grades right over the air which gives you new features which is pretty cool i know one of them you like is like the horn feature i was just gonna say i now have a car that can fart i mean come on what could be better than that you have full google on there you can do any anything on there yeah uh, and, to search and then a lot of concern is about battery uh charging we charge at home that has not been an issue but the reason one of the reasons why we got a tesla is because the vast supercharging network when you use the gps it, it tells you how much battery you have starting, how much battery when you're gonna reach your location, and if you have to stop the charge, it will route you there also. It's very intuitive, very smart. It's also extremely fun to drive. Now, I drive a lot for work. I, I train in people's houses, so I'm always on the road, and it was kind of draining. This has actually now got me. I don't mind, again, driving all over the place. I drive all over North Jersey to train, and it's really, Fun. What's really fun, and this is where I want to actually shout out one of our subscribers, uh, Rob C. We'll put his last name begins with C. We want to thank him because he reached out when we posted that we were test driving a Tesla. He shot us a message on Instagram and he said, Hey, I have a code you could use. You could save 500, 500 bucks, bucks, get some extra perks. You know, I'll save some money too. And uh, he's like, I always use your codes. Now I want you to use my code. And we did. And we did save $500. And so thank you, Rob. Again, I know we've told you a message, but thank you. And we got some extra perks, which is the beta. The three of, months is full self-driving. Self-driving. And we tried that and holy <laughs> That is scary. A few more standard features that comes on the base model 
all five seats are heated. Heated steering wheel, air conditioner, of course. That you can keep on when you're out of the car, you can set it at a well, certain Well, that's the thing. You, so you don't have a combustion engine. So like MJ, if she goes grocery shopping and it's super hot out, she can keep the grocery in there, set it at 65 degrees. It will just keep the interior 65 degrees and you can leave the car because if their key or that phone is not there, it's dead. There's no transmission, there's none of that. They also have a dog setting too, dog right? So so they have all kinds of crazy settings and there's multiple videos on Teslas. Uh, 18 inch wheels are standard, dual climate control, all the features that you would get on the higher end, they're, they're all standard on this car. It gives a lot of features for what the price is. And we're gonna talk yes. about the price at the end of this video. If you don't know me too much about cars, it has to be upgrades, right? There's always upgrades. Couple of upgrades, we're not gonna do too many on here. You were the worst with your Jeep. The Terrible. Jeep was bad. It, it was nice, but. It was nice. So <laughs> we got a uh, full paint protection, hood, front bumper, rear bumper that was professionally done. It already took a hit. We're gonna to have to have it repaired, but it's kind of standard on here. Cause if you look at this bumper, I mean, that is just a magnet. Of course I washed fully waxed and details. You could see the shine. And then over here we popped off the arrow. It comes with those really ugly arrow hubs, but behind it are alloy wheels. Just got the black center cap and some black covers. We uh, did some mats inside and then we're gonna have it tinted out probably in two weeks to like 18% all around. That's pretty much all we're gonna do to it. Just to recap what I like and don't like, I like everything. There's literally nothing yet. I've been driving it for like a week and a half, two weeks. You got almost a thousand miles on it. Yeah, there's nothing that I don't except one thing, but it's ridiculous. On my old car, I had a rear wiper on my back window and this doesn't have it, of course. That's the only thing. I have yet to find anything else I don't like. Let's it's talk about awesome. let's talk about charging because people might wonder the whole charging process. Did we have to install a charger? No. We have a 50 and 30 amp at home. We bought the Tesla mobile connectors, $250. And all we do, if you come over here, is it's already hooked up. You unhook here. If you come around, it kind of knows everything about here. We have it set up because again, this is a computer on wheels. So I, we have it set up that we can plug in, but it will only charge, it will start to charge the car 9 p.m. and later. Why is that? It's off peak hours. We get charged 11 cents per kilowatt. So you just kind of hold the button here. It does its thing, you plug it in, 9 p.m. it'll start charging up. So another big catalyst was the efficiency of the electric vehicles. They are more efficient, they're less to operate. If you're using superchargers, not so much. How much are you spending a month on gas? It, not taking out oil changes, yeah, just no, gas. I'm probably at least $300 a month. $300 a month, that's a lot. So far, the biggest day that she has charged was uh, 34 kilowatts, cost us four bucks. I can tell you how much we've actually spent. So far, we have spent, since we've gotten the car, we have spent $24. And it's not really $24 because Four of those dollars were at the supercharger, which we didn't get charged for when we picked it up. Right. So we spent 20 bucks since you've got it. We're at 793 miles. So mm -hmm. that's pretty good, yep. right? Gas by us now is 345 a gallon. And of course that changes yeah. depending yeah where you're located in the country. A lot of you were asking on social media when we did post that we were test driving this, and actually that we did put that we bought it on, yep. on uh, Instagram and Facebook. People were saying, oh, are you going to tow that instead of the Mustang? And the answer is no, this is not flat towable. We're not taking a trailer, but yes, we're still gonna be taking the Mustang. Yeah, we have the Mustang. It's a 23 year old Mustang. It can get beat up, I don't care and it runs just fine. Yep. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be using. So let's talk about the cost of this, because here, this is where a lot of people, I think, are confused. Teslas, when they first came out, they were very expensive, and really up to about eight months ago, were still quite pricey. But things have changed very significantly. So this car, uh, eight months ago, this was a $47,000 car. We got the very base model. It was 38 and some change, but with the destination charge, there's a ordering fee. Uh, you have your title fee, registration and then electronic reg fi filing fee. So the total cost of this vehicle was $40,517.85. Now, but, now that but. would be expensive. I'm gonna compare this to like a Honda Accord Limited, which is mm -hmm. probably around $35,000. Yeah, that, that's expensive for a sedan right. for sure but there's a lot of incentives. Right, so in New Jersey, it's one good thing about New Jersey, there's, there's numerous ones, but one of them, there's no sales tax on electric vehicles no sales tax. in New Jersey. That's huge. Right, so the next thing up to, I think it was two years ago when we we're looking at this, Tesla had already met, they had already surpassed the amount of sales needed to get the two, the $7,500, they went over. So Teslas were not qualifying for $7,500 
tax rebate, now they do. Knock off 7,500 from that price I just told you, because that is a tax credit. We will get that. We pay way more than that in federal taxes. Yeah. So listen, if you want to give us free money, federal government, <laughs> what we would do instead of sending quarterlies, which we just send in, I just took that and right. 7,500 for a yeah. down payment. And then in addition, New Jersey has a point of sale credit was a point of sale reduction, $4,000. For those that are interested in New Jersey, you get $4,000 for buying a new EV. Right. In addition, I sold my car through CarMax and got uh, a decent amount. I actually got $12,000. I took really good care of that car, and then Izzy kind of oh, that, re that release worked yeah, magic I know, I know. on that I car. Yeah, I talking about release. <laughs> the, the upholstery, the seats looked like brand yeah, new. Yeah, it, it looked really good. It did look like yeah. new at almost 90,000 miles. So anyway, so I took that, used that towards a down payment. Yeah, so total, we put down $18,500. That's what we put down. We financed the rest because we got a good rate. Mm -hmm. uh, we went through a federal credit union, 4.99 for 36 months, because that money we would have spent could be making money somewhere else a lot more. Right. So 4.99 made a lot of sense. This will be paid off in three years, probably less. It made a lot of sense for us. So I hope we answered some of your questions. Oh, there was one other thing we missed. We got the $500, right? Did you say the $500 off? From our subscriber, yes. Okay. Yes. So we have a code. So if you're interested, we'll, we'll link it below. Yeah. If what happened, it, there's really a win-win because you get money off and then we get like points to buy Tesla yeah, things, supercharging, whatever. Rob, if you're watching, tell people below what, what you're going to get because right. we used your code. <laughs> right. It's always Tesla's always changing it. So it made a lot of sense for us, guys. There's no vehicle on the road right now that's equivalent to this new as far as the drive, the technology. There's no there's no one, not at the price right now. And the now. cost, yeah. Yeah, yep. if you get the rear wheel drive, if you right. start getting the performance, now you're spending a lot more money and that's completely up to you. So in the comments below, guys, let us know. We hope we answered some of your questions, maybe people that didn't know things, maybe learn something new because we learn from watching other right. YouTube channels that talk about Tesla. There's one in particular, uh, Ryan Shaw, shout out because I watch him all the time. And when he started talking about the price cuts, I was like, tell MJ, I'm like, we got to jump yep. on this because this, this is the time to get it now because they're going to be going up with a new Model 3 that's coming out. If you have an EV, if you have a Tesla, what has been your experience? We've talked to probably at least 10 Tesla owners that we personally know. Mm -hmm. They've all loved all them. Loved it. They've all yeah, loved them. Good. And hopefully we have the same experience. If you like videos like this to the left of us, we'll put our RV tours playlist. We'll put our RV newbies playlist for people who just get into RVing. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime. And we'll see, see you on the road. road.